Lawyer might finally be viable in rank. Let's begin. Let's quickly brush over what we got last week, guys. Last week, we got a ton of stuff added to the store. We got the Starry Knight package that contained the A tier accessory for Psychologist Nightstar and the A tier accessory for a patient called Stargazer that you could also buy separately, of course. We also got the Nocturnal Bloom package that contained a portrait and more stuff that you could get. We got the return of multiple items, including the S tier skin for Psychologist Everlasting Knight and the S tier skin for Patient Luminary. And we got the return of the A tier accessory for photographer called tenderness and the pets gary and frankie return to the store we got an event related to all of this stuff that was added to the store called the let's enjoy this starry summer night event where you could complete matches to receive stargaze tokens that could then be used to get two portraits and a ton of different rewards they completely changed the friends section of the identity 5 settings or menu i guess you could call it they improved the chat channels by adding a hide and show chat channels function and the rearrange chat channels function Function. They improved the intimacy section by making it so that you would gain intimacy if you send someone a gift. They changed the interface and they added two interactive emotes to the intimacy store. And they added the new confidant feature where you can add your close friends as confidants up to five. This is like a whole feature where you can just show off your best, best, best friends. If you do have a certain level with those confidants, you would get tons of rewards. They adjusted lucky guy, making it so you can open his lucky parcels whilst moving. And you'll be able to see the drop rate for each item from his lucky lucky package. They did a ton of balance changes to the hide and seek mode. Let's talk about what's coming this week because we're getting quite a bit of content. One of the things we're getting this week is the final push event as it's the final week before the next season, meaning that you'll be able to get more logic points, more dice and all of that stuff. On the 25th of this month, we're getting the perfumer character day, meaning that it's going to give her another spray, I think, or possibly even an animated spray. I don't really know. In the store, either in the store itself or possibly in the Penrose maze, I'm unsure where where this is going to be found. They're going to be bringing us the new S tier accessory for Perfuma called Flower of Forgettens. It is a very fancy S tier accessory with really cool effects. They showed it off in a video. Definitely fits the S S skin that it's meant to match with. As well in the store, you'll be able to find two new pieces of furniture, including a two person swing that still hasn't been given a name in the English server yet. They haven't told us what it is. And that's an S tier piece of furniture and the A tier piece of furniture that's a table where you can put or show off all of the dishes that you own. Um, again, this still has not been given a name yet. I'm wondering if they're going to be added to the furniture store or if they'll be added to the store itself for people to purchase for clues or for echoes. I don't really know. And this update, we can also expect character adjustments. They just announced tons of character adjustments that are coming, all of which were in Chinese and haven't really been translated to English yet. But I will talk about all of those adjustments that we should expect this week, as they said it was coming at the end of the season. So first of all, Lawyer's getting a massive change here becoming almost a different character. Opening his map will now cost 4% of its durability. I'm not sure how much it cost originally. That might be more or less than it was before. Completing 5% of a cipher machine will give you 1% decoding buff up to 20%. So they've given him some new abilities. For example, after having moved 18 meters, your movement speed is increased by 0.2% up to a maximum of 5%. So that's every 18 meters that you move, you'll get 0.2, another 0.2. And I think it's permanent. So if you stop moving, it's not like you lose all of that. And now every time Lawyer vaults a new window, that has to be a window that he hasn't vaulted before, his vaulting speed will be increased by 1.5%, up to a maximum of 12%. So that is very interesting indeed. He's getting buffed in kiting, very interesting. Wax Artist is being nerfed. The duration of his wax spray upon being stunned is shortened to 0.5 seconds. Nightwatch is being nerfed and adjusted a little bit. His maximum wind force is reduced from 3 meters per second to 2.7 meters per second. The maximum distance of one of his abilities, I don't know if it's the dash ability or one of the wind pulling abilities, but the range is being shortened from 21.87 meters to 17.5 meters. That's a massive change. But to kind of adjust him a little bit, to improve him a little bit, they've optimized his steering sensitivity. Helember has had a massive change here. He might actually be a viable character to play now. His base movement speed has been increased to 4.6 four meters per second so it's going to be much faster long pressing the phantom ability will lock onto a survivor now so you'll be able to cast your phantom in a direction that's kind of good the time before a phantom starts chasing after you cast it has been reduced to 2.5 seconds so that's pretty quickly unless you are near a chaired survivor because in that case it will be increased to 4.5 seconds so if you it can't really be used in the way of camping but it can be used for chase that i think is really good because that's what helember needed nightmare has been buffed a little bit by his palette 
braking speed being shortened by 0.2 seconds, so he brakes a little bit faster. The time required to spy on a survivor has been shortened by 1.8 seconds and will last 45 seconds. But if he's full presence, it will now take 0.7 seconds longer than it did before. Professor has also been nerfed by them removing some of the scales that will just randomly spawn around the map. They've reduced it from three that will appear around the map to one that will appear on the map now. Apart from that, I'm not really sure what else they'll be adding this week. So let's talk about what's coming from the future. We've had some reveals of some upcoming content that will be coming in the next couple of weeks. First of all, they revealed the season 28 rank accessories. We already knew who they were going to be for. They are for Nyad, Composer and for Dancer, but we didn't really know what they look like. We, now we do know what they look like. We can speculate about what the effects are. This week, we should, of course, see what the effects are going to be like, or at least maybe Monday or Tuesday of next week, they will reveal a video for it. But we know that Nyad's one is a cool rock thing dripping water with a lily on it, and it's possibly translated to summer. We know that Composer is going to have an accessory called Conduct, as far as we can tell, and it's like a conductor stick that's made of crystals, similar to what Enchantress's accessory looks like from her recent rank accessory reward that she got. Dancer is getting a thing called Bull, and I have no idea what it is. It's fiery and it looks kind of cool, unless I've mixed them up and the Composer one and the Dancer one are the opposites, I don't really know. We also had a reveal for Season 28's Logic Path skin. We knew that it was going to be for Thief, but now we know what it looks like. It's called Matador's Kiss, and it's a Matador styled skin, but it has multiple different colors. It's kind of funky and weird. We also know that he's getting an accessory that's a glove called Last Stand. And of course, we know that there will be a portrait and a portrait frame to go along with the Logic Path rewards. Just today, they revealed the story for the new Season 28 Essence 1 that of course is going to be Cheerleader's Essence. I haven't actually watched that video yet but I already know the theme from the picture of what it's going to be. We also had a video that revealed her exact numbers for her stats and her abilities so we should be seeing her this week into the test server. Feels like Nettie's is dropping a ton of content, tons of new skins, tons of adjustments and stuff. You might be having issues with your ping current in the game so make sure you check out this video right here so you can fix those ping issues and maybe have a better time playing Identity 5. 